Cooks, Mr. Bilson, honor to have you here. You're looking at a Crossman pistol. You bet, a Crossman. It is a pellet pistol. It's a pump pistol. You can pump it up to 10 times, 450 feet per second. Bold action, and it's a single shot. And you know what it looks like? It really looks like the dueling pistols of days gone by. Dueling. Let's talk about dueling a little bit. Started way back, absolutely. Adam and Eve had Cain and Abel as sons, and those two sons couldn't get along. And so Cain killed Abel. Was it a duel? Might have been. But a true duel was David and Goliath. David and Goliath. Now that was a duel. Here in America, Andrew Jackson had numerous duels before he became president. One of the duels, he was shot in the chest and the bullet lodged an inch from his heart, too dangerous to remove it. And as he stood there after he had been shot, he returned fire and killed the man that had just shot him. And he had duels after that, and some of them he was wounded. But he lived and he became president of the United States. You bet. Duels. The Vikings, there's another example of dueling. They had a 10-foot circle, and to keep the violence out of the cities, they put the duels outside in that circle. Didn't mean you had to die, but you had to go out there and settle your differences with whatever violence you so desired. There, not in the city. Chicago could learn something from that. You bet. But as far as duels go, it was not a set rule on how each one went. Some of the men demanded that the gun be pointed at each other and then they'd flip a coin and whichever one won the t coin toss they got to shoot first. Others wanted the gun up here so that it could be then turned and fired. Others just faced each other, would pace off first, pay, face each other and they'd drop a handkerchief and then they would fire their dueling pistols at each other. Absolutely. Yeah. So with that in mind, with that in mind, dueling is an incredible sport throughout history. And it solved problems. Right or wrong, it solved problems. And with that nostalgia, owning a dueling pistol and shooting it, not at someone, but at a can or whatever you so desire, you take your 10 steps, you turn, you fire, it kind of a, gives you an inkling of what that dueling ideology must have been about. And how much pressure could be there. Because it's harder to do even without somebody shooting right at you, rest assured. And I have also had people beside me, and we would do the 10 steps and turn, and we'd have cans out there and see which could be shot first. Dueling, it's worth doing, and for a $50 bill, you can own this Crossman pump-up pellet pistol, and I don't think you'll regret it. You have a good day.